And the representative elect will raise her right hand. I need you to direct me, please. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same? That you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion? and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, you are now a member of the 100th Legislature. California, Mr. Stark is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, as Dean of the California Delegation, it's my duty and indeed pleasure to introduce the newest addition to our delegation, Dr. Judy Chu. The election of Dr. Chu is groundbreaking, not only because she's a Renaissance woman, she taught psychology at East Los Angeles Community College, and also because she's the first Chinese American woman ever to serve in Congress. As, <laughs> Dr. Chu's impressive record as an elected official goes back over a few years. She was elected the Garvey School District's Board in 1985. She's held the title of Mayor, City Councilwoman, State Assemblywoman, and Chair of the Assembly Appropriations Committee, Vice Chair of the California State Board of Equalization, and now a member of Congress. This ca the cause she's championed over the years are as varied and important as the office she has served in. As Chair of the Assembly and the, uh, Appropriations Committee, she ensured programs benefiting students, people with disabilities, and that the elderly were properly funded. Her effectiveness extended to the Assembly floor, building coalitions to pass legislation that enhance protections for victims of domestic violence, strengthened hate crime laws, and brought much needed improvements to public school facilities. Her experiences as professor, public servant, advocate for families and the less fortunate will make her an important voice in this Congress. I know she's ready to hit the ground running and please join me in welcoming Dr. Judy Chu to the House of Representatives. Speaker Pelosi and fellow members of the House of Representatives, I'm so honored and humbled to be here in this great hall of Congress. I'm especially honored to follow in the footsteps of my mentor, Secretary of Labor Hilda Solis, whose support and encouragement I truly cherish. I am proud to have been led by a district of people in California in the San Gabriel Valley in Los Angeles that is diverse, that is working class, and that cares deeply about its senior centers, parks, and community centers. They are anxious to ensure that their kids will have a job when they graduate from college, that they don't have to fear getting sick, and that they can be secure in staying in their homes. I look forward to working with you in making sure that this happens. I want to thank my supporters for believing in me so strongly, and they are up there. I want to thank my family, my nieces, my family, and especially my husband, Mike King. It 
It is at times like this when I think about my grandfather who came to this country with nothing. He worked hard and opened up a small Chinese restaurant uh, and working night and day and day and night, he used that very expensive labor, his sons, <laughs> to make ends meet. Two, and now, two generations later, here I am. America is truly the land of opportunity. I thank you all very much.